Hello. Uh, I've just finished watching a film that I saw several years ago and it blew my mind. And then for some reason I thought, like, you know what, I should watch this again. Even though the last time I did, it killed me. But I thought, oh, killing me will be fine, let's do it again. So I just watched again um, any day now and it's starring I forget what his name is Garrett Garrett it's starring Garrett and the charismatic Alan Cumming and it was about uh, it's set in 1979 and Garrett is like this closeted homosexual man and he goes into a gay bar for the first time and there he sees Alan coming on the stage as a drag queen like doing his stuff and he's like Phew, like instantly in love with him and then Alan coming on the stage he spots him and then he's like yeah like singing doing his job but also flirting on the stage too because two birds and um yeah, and then they end up like having sexy time in the car because that's 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 what happens. And well, apparently I don't know. I wish. <laughs> and then um, that's how it starts off anyway. And it it all seems well and good, but the premise of the story is that they both like adopt this kid he's like 14 years old and he's got down syndrome his mum buggers off so he's all abandoned in his home and Alan Cumming is an absolute sweetheart and just decides I'll I'll keep him that'll be fine I, I, I have no problems keeping him and um so these two Garrett and Alan they adopt the kid Marco and uh, then the story follows them and their story about um, two gay men back in the day when homosexuals were not, were not, well I say back in the day but like even less so than today because today gays can have custody mostly and um, yeah so that's the story and should I give away the ending? I shall but I shan't give it away yet. So Garrett is quite an interesting character because he's a closeted man, he goes into a gay bar and that day he gets sucked off which is kind of like, I, I was rooting for him, I was like oh yeah you go lad and um, then like the next day when Alan goes home he sees Marco and is like I need help because he's a lawyer and like lawyers know what to do and stuff and so it's like one day and he comes bursting into his office like Garrett Garrett that's not his name he's not, his name's not Garrett in the actual film but I can't remember what it's Paul it's Paul I'm not getting confused on the names now I'm just calling them Garrett and Alan okay so Alan comes in saying Garrett Garrett and he's like Oh, you can't come barging into my house, not my house, my work like this because he's afraid that he's going to get persecuted for being gay, which he does, so he was kind of right, but like because Alan is like flamboyantly gay, he's probably just had to deal with it all his life, so he's like the natural fighter, he's like, no, we've got to stand up for who we are and what we believe in. And then Garrett's like, I've only just started, mate. You've you, you you got to give me some time type thing. But, yeah, but anyway, it all works out. Garrett says, all right, I will help you because this is right and I think that you're cool and the kid's quite fun as well. And, like, they immediately move in together and they just become, like, the best parents in the world. And it's like, for... And I was like, he must, Garrett must have thought that he had it, like, like, for, like, being closeted your entire life, going from that to having 
like a boyfriend who adored you and a kid in a family setting and it's like amazing and then everyone else is like oh that's gross no two dads are gonna like fuck up a kid and so the, then um and and then there's like the court setting and it's like um no we're not allowing this because you're two men and you're gonna you're gonna you know really destroy the kid and type stuff so they're fighting to keep the kid and the kid marco he loves them to pieces he like draws a picture of them saying my two daddies which is kind of what starts it anyway but, and they just want to be together so they're all fighting in court like multiple court hearings to try and keep them and then it ends up with them losing the court case and marco has to go into uh, like a um house a social house of some sort and it ends with marco um running away trying to find garrett and alan and <laughs> he ends up dying because he's in the on the streets for three days not knowing how to look after himself just trying to get home and nobody will let him get home so he dies and it's the worst thing absolutely ever and it fucked me up the first time when i watched it i was about i must have been about 17 or 18 or something and now i'm 22 it's not good i can't really talk about it like in extent like usually how i talk about i like make notes and then talk about it but i've made no notes because it just hurt my hand i i'm not making any notes right now i just wanted to talk because i'm a bit drunk and it's like i don't want to write i want to talk i want my voice heard and there's no one here to hear me too so i'm gonna make a video instead and i don't know like what i don't know what maybe think about but there is this when i watched the film the first time alan coming um, wants to be a singer throughout this film and at the end when you find out that Marco dies and Garrett is writing a letter to all the people that wouldn't let him and Alan be parents and they're saying yeah uh, you may not know that this happened because it was just a short paragraph in the middle of the newspaper when the front page was more important talking about gas prices and stuff and during this um, Alan Cumming is singing this song called um, I shall be released and there's a lyric in it is like any day now which is what the film is called and it's just like like okay okay um this isn't a dig it sounds like a dig but absolutely I don't think Alan Cumming is the best singer but there's so much raw emotion in his singing anyway that it's just, I, I listen to the song over and over and over and I don't know why but it was just like, it's a bit weird because like several years later the song pops into my head any day now and it's like, oh yeah, let's traumatise myself again and oh, they tell you tell you every man must have protection and then they tell you they tell you that every man must fall and i swear i swear i see my own reflection far beyond these walls that's right i see my light come shining come shining come shining from the west down to the east and oh my god, any day now, any day now, any day now, I shall be released. I'm not singing to the best of my abilities. But god, it doesn't matter because the emotion's there. Oh god. The film's on Netflix now, so if your heart can handle being ripped apart and then put back together and then ripped apart again then this is the film for you yes